A young boy living in Winnipeg, Manitoba in 1910 received a leg injury causing infection to the bone and bone marrow introduced by the trauma. The attending physician who saw this condition as a good teaching subject for his students decided not to amputate and agreed to nurse the young boy back to health. With a deep-rooted belief that people should not have to depend on the generosity of others in order to get health care, Thomas Clement Douglas decided that Medicare should be free for all. How many of you know that a Scottish-born Baptist minister not only became a Canadian politician, was the seventh premier of Saskatchewan, but also introduced public Medicare to Canada? Tommy emigrated from Falkirk, Scotland in 1910 to become the greatest Canadian of all time. Making the most of his younger years, Tommy belonged to successful debate teams and enjoyed taking public speaking classes before attending college. Imagine public speaking, who would have thought? Throughout his 18 years of power in Saskatchewan, nothing was more controversial to Tommy than free Medicare for the citizens of Saskatchewan. His number one concern was the creation of Medicare. Saskatchewan became the center of a struggle between the governments, medical establishments, and physicians to attain leadership. Physicians believed that if Medicare came into the legislation, their best interests would not be met and began to strike. The physicians believed that this was trespassing on the rights and freedom of both patients and doctors, eventually ending in the decline of quality Medicare in Saskatchewan. In the end, free medical care was obtained. Douglas was then hailed the father of Medicare. At this time, he stepped down as the Premier of Saskatchewan and turned the position over to his successor, Woodrow Lloyd. Tommy's legacy as an innovator lives on today through social welfare, universal medicine, old age pensions, and family allowance. Douglas's once radical ideas eventually came to be widely accepted by all those who opposed him. Thomas Douglas was, one of, was in politics for many years after he stepped down from the position of Premier to keep watch over his ideas and more, as more established political parties came into office. Many believe that Tommy's most memorable and important work was accomplished during his time as Premier. Tommy passed away February 24, 1986, but his compassion, intelligence, and hard work played a large and important role in shaping Canada to what it is today. We as Canadians, on a global scale, are known as kind, caring, and generous. I cannot think of a better, kinder, caring person to have as an icon of our great country than Thomas Clement Douglas, the father of Medicare.